tragedy struck Ibadan Oyo State as a massive explosion occurred around the Danger Oyo Street in Bodija, Ibadan, around 7.44 p.m. on Tuesday. The cause of this explosion, which left many dead with several buildings destroyed, is unknown. Residents say they felt an earth tremor during the explosion from several blocks away, and the Oyo State Governor, Sheyi Makinde, who visited the scene, has promised a thorough investigation. Explosive is being produced around this area, codedly. So the government needs to investigate very well. Just look at the casualties. These are no still. Or uh, is it OBMS? Uh, what's it called? Uh, Baptist or Anglican? So, sorry. Uh, so, there are so many casualties. Even uh, 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 we are at Akobo when this situation happened. Uh, about seven or, or nine kilometers away from this spot. So everywhere vibrated. We even thought it was a, uh, sorry, it was an earthquake. But eventually we just got away. Because there is another, what is it called, a barracks that is very close to this. So I consider what that just not happen in that barracks. When we got to our, this, our office, there, we discovered that uh, even our, what is it called, the POP, the gas, everything, the pressure destroy our office. Just look at this. So no, bomb is being produced secretly around this area. This, this residential area, this could not be gas. So the government need to investigate this situation. I don't know where we're going to in this country. Just look, casualties everywhere. Look at the guy that just died there. He came, he, 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 he just came from UK about a week ago. So we don't even. Yeah, he's about. He's a, he's a son to a landlord in this estate. So I don't know. So government, my own conclusion about this situation is that government should investigate this situation because we did not have bomb is being produced in this estate. So I don't know what to say because the casualty is too much. Just look at the destruction. Look at damages. So we, have, we, we, we can't just, just look away. There are so many collateral damages that has happened here. So we need thorough investigation into this situation. A lot of things is going on in this estate. We need to investigate ourselves. The thing is the frustration right here. And uh, from what we've uh, uh, gathered so far, uh, the likelihood is that uh, you have uh, uh, illegal miners trying uh, to explosive around this place. Uh, we've always said to people that uh, uh, when you see something, say something, and then the authorities should be able to do something. Um, uh, this is quite unfortunate. Uh, at this stage, it's uh, just to uh, rescue anyone that is still uh, under the, uh, uh, the rubble here. And also the people that, uh, that have been taken to the hospital uh, to give them uh, care. Um, and uh, uh, also some of the people uh, who have their houses uh, destroyed provide temporary accommodation for them uh, uh, at hotels within uh, the city. And then in the morning, uh, we uh, definitely will uh, continue uh, the investigation. The affected families, uh, uh, I'll say uh, the government is here. We will uh, uh, support them uh, in the recovery uh, uh, effort. But most importantly, uh, we will uh, react appropriately uh, to this uh, incident. It's just uh, 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 it's devastating. It's something that uh, 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 it's difficult to, to wrap one's head you know, around this.